What up, Elite Fam? Charles Macro back in the fishing planet. Today, we are coming with another hot spot. We are going at the flathead catfish. In this video, I'm gonna use gear that is appropriate to your level. If you're just getting the Quanchkin, if you're at level 26, this is gear you can buy in the shop. First of all, I'm using the Big Ali 1310. It is a six to 18 pound rod, but your reel determines your weight. I have the Big River 5000 that is a 17 pound reel. For line, we're using Braid .0085, that's 17 pound, and it's the 300 yard limb. We're using a three and a half ounce coated lead flat pair sinker. I have a 15 pound titanium leader. We're using a six aught barbless hook. If you don't want to use bait coins, get the regular hook. So you can't catch the trophies and unis with the bait that is unlocked at your level. Medium cut bait, shiners, and duck muscle meat are unlocked and they do work. But if you are at a higher level, I recommend using large cut bait, meat chunks, chicken livers, buffalo kidneys, canned meats, blood even works, crawfish also works, freshwater prawns work as well. Now you want to enter the map at Swampy Open Space that's right here on the right, Swampy Open open space. The early morning peak I like the best. The evening peak works as well. I like the early morning peak. If your map has the peak in the later day, it's very low in the beginning. Just fast forward your time to about 4 or 5 p.m. I like to fish from there into the main peak. You'll still catch unis and trope. And always get your advanced license, guys. Always get your advanced license. You can catch the flathead, blue, and channel catfish, but you'll have to release them. You will get the XP, but you won't get the money. Let's jump on in. If you have a stand, put it down. You'll probably have a one or two ride stand by this time. I have one line already throughout. I'm starting with shiners and I have duck muscle on that one as well. I'll probably pull out one of my bigger rides as an example, just so we can show that the bait does work. If you don't know how to fast forward, hit T. Let's go ahead and cast our shiners out here. And then I'll show you on the map, the coordinates of those markers. Now, you'll wanna cast straight ahead, right in this little gap, right there in between the trees, in anywhere in this little area, but I'm gonna show you on the map so you can look at the coordinates as well. So you spawn in right here. We're throwing to this deep spot right here. So anywhere in this negative 14 to 131, negative 17 to 128, negative 22 to 126, any of those areas. You see I caught this uni flathead at negative 15 to 131 and we got a hit, so let's see what we get. Now I'm gonna show most of these. I am using the lighter setups. So some of these, it's gonna be a fight. It's gonna be a fight, but you can reel them in. Just be aware of your drag. I will put my drag about two notches below. And if you can go up one, go ahead. Just be careful of the red, all right? If you can go up one mo, go ahead. Just be careful of the red. But this was fighting a bit. This was fighting a bit. This is probably a flathead. Most of the channel cats, don't push the line that far, but let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Come on in, come on in. And this one is on Shiners. Oh, he is running back out. Oh yeah, he is just running. He acting like we not even here. He's acting like we not even here, guys. All right, there he go. Now he's not jumping out the water like the uni. There it is. The trophies and the units usually jump out the water. Every now and then, this could just be a regular heavy Flathead, yep, look, it's just a regular heavy flathead. They do that too. The regular ones will get you at about 25 pounds and they do put up a fight. Let me go here near to the back to see if we can get us one of those blues. I like to go for those blueies. Oh, and we got another trophy. We got another trophy. It's another day. I had to leave and jump back in and we got a trophy on a rainy day. Let's go. All right, we got another one. This one applying a little more pressure. This one applying a little more pressure. Oh, he fighting. He fighting and he biting. Let's see what the wall got the right. <laughs> Uh-oh, guys, this one is really running. I'm gonna try to fish him right. I'm gonna try to reel him in properly, let him run. This one is definitely a trophy and it may be a uni as well. Oh, somebody done caught a gar. Look at that. This guy done caught a gar. Yo, dude done caught a gar. He must've cast his line out real far. Oh yeah, this one taking a minute, guys. This one taking a minute. We caught this on shiners on the six eye hook. All right, guys, we reeling him on in. He looked like a big one. Let's see, let's see is this it. Oh, that is just a regular flathead. That is trash. That is trash. Get out of here, you regular catfish. 
All right, guys, now so we could get just a few more hits, I threw an eight odd hook on one of my other rides. This one is gonna reel in a lot faster, but I still use medium cut bait. On the other one, I also have the duck muscle meat, so we're using the same bait, but I used a slightly bigger hook to see if that helped. Boom, and that did it. That did it. Using the eight odd hook caught us the uni, flathead, catfish, let's go, 62 pounds, 55 inches, 17 hundo. Hit me in the comment box, let me know what size your uni flathead catfish is, guys. This is the one right here. Let's go on and take us a screenshot of that because that's a big mamma jamma, let's go. So the six odd is very good at consistently catching those catfish. If you want to have a higher percentage of catching the unis and the trophies, I would say go with an eight odd hook. But just know your bite frequency may go down with that bigger hook, but you'll probably catch that uni a little faster when it does bite, all right? All right, guys, that is how you catch those catfish here at Quanchkin Lake. We got our uni, so we gonna wrap it up. Hit me in the comment box. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, share this so others can check this out. And let me know what is your biggest catfish that you've caught here so far. Also, if you need to catch those alligator guard, check this video right here, I got you. And then I also have other hotspot videos for you all around fishing planet. And if you have a fish that you're trying to catch that you need me to make a video for, let me know down in the comments, I got you. You can also consider being a member as well. I thank you guys for your support, for my Patreons, for everybody who comes through to the streams. Come through and check out the streams and get down with us, man. We got a great group of guys, the elite fan. We do our thing. Have a great time in the streams, all right? Charles Macro, Fishing Planet, thank you for stopping through, and I'm going to holler at you. Peace. I run the game, I run the game, I run the, I run the, I run the macro my name. I run the game, I do this for the love, they love money and the fame.